Okay, hello, welcome back everyone to the next video of our WordPress series. In this video, we're going to set up our own custom theme and yeah, take our very first steps in the development of our own theme. And um, why don't we just get into it? So let me start by opening our WordPress uh, workspace, which we set up on Cloud9 in the last video. And once we're taken there, could not, yeah, okay. Uh, ignore that error message just for now. Okay, so how do we um, set up our own theme? It's actually very easy. All we do is go to the WP content folder, expand it, go to the themes subfolder, and here we see all our currently installed or available themes. And these three themes are just uh, yeah, the basic themes which come with um, every WordPress installation as of now. So to create our own theme, the first thing we do is create a new folder by right click new folder. And I'm just calling this folder my theme. Inside this folder, we need two files to get started. So I'll create a new file. And the first file we need is a style.css. So that's a file which will on one end um, hold the, the styling um, we will apply to our theme, um, but we might use other style files as well. So that's uh, left to us. But the other thing this file does is it provides some information for WordPress about our theme. So without this file, our WordPress theme wouldn't show up in the theme selection part of our website, um, which I will show you right in there, uh, very soon. Um, so it's a very important file. The other file we need is a PHP file, namely the index.php. And that is just our starting file where our content will, will be structured, will be provided. Because our theme needs some kind of file where it knows, okay, every site you load, every blog post, everything within our website um, needs to be displayed in a certain way, right? That's what makes our theme up. And uh, we will actually do this by combining several files, but we need at, one, at least one file to start with it. So let me do some basic setup in the style.css file. There we need to provide some information. And please note that I provide this information within comments. So it is uh, just a simple comment which won't be interpreted as um, CSS code by yeah, just typing forward slash star and then star forward slash to end the comment section. Within the comment section, I need to provide just a little bit of information. So the first thing um, I will need to provide is the theme name. And I do this by just typing theme name colon and then the name of our theme. I just call it my, my, my theme. I'll also provide an offer, Max. You obviously can put in your name there and a version of our theme. 1.0. Actually, there are more fields we can and we really should provide if we were to market our theme. Things like the description, a theme URL, maybe a URL of our own website. But that's just to get us started. And for now, that's everything we have to put into this file. So save it by hitting Control S, close it, and open the index.php. As I said, this file will show the actual content of our blog. And I want to demonstrate this just by adding something like hello, world, maybe in H1 tags, hello world. Save it. And now let me open our WordPress site, the front end. Okay, so now to be able to see our changes, we have to actually activate our theme. We do this in our admin dashboard. And here we go to Appearance Themes. 
Over there, we will find our theme with the name we provided in the style.css file and can click activate. And once that's done, we are able to view our theme when we go to the front end of our website. Actually, didn't we have some posts to show? Yeah, we, um, we do have two posts, so why aren't uh, those showing up there? Well, obviously, that's the case because everything we provide within index.php is hello world. We don't tap any source, data source at all. We, we can't show any posts because we don't get them in this file and we don't have any other file where we, where we would get it. So that's the reason why at the moment the only thing which shows up is hello world. As this is obviously not very exciting, let's tune it a little bit. I start by providing just a standard HTML5 document skeleton. So let me start by just entering HTML. And you do this in Cloud9 by just basically typing HTML and then hitting the tab key. And this will create this very, 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 very basic skeleton here. So inside our HTML tags, we have a head section, obviously. And we have our body section. Within our head section, we get also something to specify. So for one, we get a title for our document. I'll just leave it at hello world for the moment. And we might also provide our meta tag regarding the char set we use on this page, UTF-8. I also have to add one additional thing, uh, which, which actually comes from WordPress. And this is a PHP function call. So let's just wrap it into PHP tags. And what we need to call is WP hat. Now, what does WP hat do? The thing is, in our WordPress installation, we might have diff different plugins, and obviously, we have our standard WordPress uh, function functionality. And WordPress, as well as some plugins, might have to add uh, their own things at the head of our document. So things like links to style sheets, to JavaScript, maybe some meta tags, stuff like that. And so we need to provide a hook for those plugins and for WordPress to stick that stuff in there. And that's what we're doing with this WP add function. We will need uh, something similar at the bottom of our page in the footer actually, and that is the WP footer function. And it basically does a similar thing like the WP head function. It's a hook for plugins and for WordPress to inject stuff into our framework and our skeleton we, we put up here. So if we now visit our website, we see the hello world is gone. We see that it has a title of Hello World, and that's exactly what we provided here, right? Title of Hello World, no content as of now. If you were to add a content back to it, Hello World for the moment, we got it here, right? Now, if you are seeing this navigation bar at the top of your page as well, that has something to do with some settings you need to change or you might need to change in your administration panel. So you do this by, go down, by going down to users, your profile, and here you got this thing, show toolbar when viewing site. After you update it, it will be gone in the front end and only be available in the back end. So you might want to do this to really view your site the way other non-logged in users would see it. I find this very handy. Okay, so now we got our basic skeleton. And just to round this video up, let's at least add our posts or show our posts in the skeleton. 
So just replace this by writing our posts. And then I want to show our posts here. And we do this by using the WordPress loop, which is just a way of yeah, outputting all our posts um, in a document. So we need PHP tags for that. So we add the WordPress loop by writing while have posts, the post. And for a moment, we just ended with and while. So if we view our website now, nothing changes. Hmm. So no posts are displayed as of yet. And that's because WordPress doesn't automatically output or output all the information it has regarding a post because that's not just the post content, that's also the title, the author, the category, maybe some tags, and so on and so on. So we're free to, to define which information we want to output as well as how we want to style it. And for that, we got a much more granular con control than just writing, okay, the post output everything. So we do this by closing our PHP tags here and reopening, reopening them here. Oops. And between the beginning and the ending of our while statement, we can now really output information we want. So let's just add an h3 tag, do the short form PHP tag for out for echoing some information for information out. The title is the post title, as you might guess. And in a paragraph in a, are you kidding? Okay, so in a paragraph handwritten because Cloud9 actually wants to fool me, we write the content. Save it and go back to our website. Right, we got our post title and our post content. And while that might not seem super mega awesome, that's really a, a cool thing we achieved here because we're now dynamically outputting the content we provide for our own website. And in the next video, we will continue by styling it a little bit, adding a first dummy navigation bar and also show how we can differentiate between an index site, which lists all posts, and a detail site, which will show one complete post with its whole content uh, compared to just an excerpt or a shorter version of its content. So please leave your feedback and tune in to the next video as well. Bye, this is Max, and I will see you soon.